for you, sir. Thank you. No problem. The airport, please. There it is. But you're right, you're right. Of course I'm right. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. You remember Craig? Yeah. How, How are you doing? All right. I got this thing up and running. You want free advice, man? Hmm? It's the only kind I'll tell you. <laughs> Henry's my biological consultant. Yeah. I don't know. You ever see what that cute little bird of yours looks like after a cat's got to it? Look, all I'm saying is I want it to be true to nature. Yeah. True to nature can be awfully brutal, let me tell you. So what does that do? Just fly around the screen? Well, it's an interactive ecology game. That's why your dad missed Little League again. I went two for four. Hey, you did? That's not bad. That's great. You did great. Thanks. Okay, now add the warm. This game is for five-year-olds. Oh, yeah? You think so? Let's see what happens with two birds. Now add the warm. Is that a little bit better? Oh, Mom, Dad put blood in the program. <laughs> do, do your mom a favor. Fewer birds and more worms, okay? Okay. Ben? Yeah? What do you need? You think it's too much? No, that looks okay. Could you live with it in here? No, I like it. You did a, you did a nice job. I like it. Put it wherever you want. VCR, the stereo, one of Elizabeth's hangings, if you can believe that. That's what I took. She's pretty upset, let me tell you. Don't you guys have an alarm? Yeah, the whole damn place is wired. Voice recognition. What did they do? Cut the box? Oh, my lovely wife turned it off. She said the housekeeper was coming. Well, at least nobody got hurt. That's what I keep telling myself. Excuse me. Do you know where I can get a towel? Yeah, there's an office in the back. Thank you. I'm gonna have that segment like this. Yeah, 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 right. I'm serious. Things becoming a hammer right for me. You know?
I'm missing something? No. No, no. Just finish that thing. Honey, I, I can't find my wallet. Did you look on the dresser? Yeah, I looked on the dresser. What the hell is it? We're gonna be late for dinner. When did you last see it? Well, I was in the locker room. And I put it in my gym bag, like I always do. Maybe you put it in your pocket. Oh, great. The babysitter's here. You're Ben Braden, right? Yeah. Alex Conley. I don't know if you remember, I saw you at the locker room today. Oh, that's right. I think you left this. Oh, man. I was just going to drop it at the front desk, but I figured, you know, if it was me. Oh, God, we, we were just... Oh, you don't need to hear this. Didn't I see you at Voltex? That's right. I'm the new facilities planner. Nicole, don't look at the mess. Uh, th this is Alex, right? I'm Elizabeth. This is Nick. Nice to meet you. Well, you're clearly busy. I'll get out of your hair. That's really beautiful. Excuse me, waiter, can you get a couple more of these daiquiris for us? Oh. <laughs> I met the doppelganger. I told you about this guy. I don't think so. Yes, he's an architect. No, he works in administration. This guy looks just like me. A lot of people look like other people. Like, um, Dom de Louise and that... Paul Right. Yeah, but you think they know each other. I don't know. Don't all famous people know all other famous people? All I can tell you is that this is a very strange feeling. Guy works at your place, right? Mm-hmm. Take him out to lunch. Invite him to the barbecue. The guy did me a favor. That doesn't make me his best friend. No, but he's new in town, and he's probably very lonely. Come on, you're clearly curious. Satisfy your curiosity. I dated a guy with a beard once. Only he didn't have your eyes. <laughs> you were close enough to see this guy's eyes. No, I'm close enough. Lights, please. You're the only guy I know who says please to a machine. <laughs> you like a man with men. No. I like a considerate man. What? Did I leave the heat lamp on downstairs? What difference does it make? The woodle crack. Oh, that's what you told me. Hello, <laughs> Craig. Hey. How are you? How you doing? Good to see you. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hello, Elizabeth. I'm so glad you came. Thank you. Give me that. Give me that. Hi, man. Yeah. You wear the chick. So, um, do you mind if I... No, of course not. You should smoke. It's bad for your lungs. Nah. Oh, no, no, no. He's right. In fact, uh, I'm quitting next week. Ben said that for three years. Oh, really? What did he finally do? Use a patch? Nicotine gum. I'm as bored as bored can be. Are you, my dad? How could you be bored when you got money coming out of your ear? No, I don't. I think I might see a little something right about here. Oh, wow! Hey, you know what I used to like to do when I was a kid? Hmm. Race cars. Cool. I'm going to say thank you after I know what it is. <laughs> there you go. He's going to be a politician. Radical. Hey, you guys, say cheese. Cheese. Oh, wow, this is really neat. It's so funny. When we first moved in here, it seemed like such a big house. That was before you had Nick, right? Well, I was pregnant with him. So, this is where I work. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Not a lot of privacy. No. You know what I would do? I'd renovate your garage. It's not that difficult. We could put in a couple of skylights. I'll tell you, it'd give you a lot more workspace. 
That'd be heaven. What are you guys doing inside? Alex was just telling me what he would do with the place. I mean, haven't you ever thought of renovating? At least getting Liz out of the den. <sighs> Awful lot of money. Awful lot of hassle. What can I say? Nikki! Oh. 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 Listen, I'm gonna get Are you okay? It's my ankle. When I was a kid, I tore my ankle trying to break up the double play. Never got that tryout with the A's, huh? Oh, hell with the A's. I was gonna play forward for the Warriors. Come on, I'll get you a shirt upstairs. So this is what it's like for a Bacchus Award winner, huh? Not bad. What do they do, give you a dinner or something? Usual fuss. Funny thing is, wasn't even my best work. Never is. Nice place you got here, Ben. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm telling you, he has the same birthmark as me. Same size, same location. Mm. It happened so quick, I couldn't really tell how big it was. I think your Thanks. imagination is beginning to run away with you. When you see a guy, he looks a little like you. A little? Are you getting the long-lost twin theory? The not-quite-monozygote? Well, you can call your mother and ask her if you're a twin. I'm not making that call. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to Camp, there was a girl who looked just like me. We had the same hair, same eyes, same overbite. We used to compare braces. And at the end of the summer, the crafts fair, we both had made the same lanyard. Red, yellow, and green, barrel stitch. Life's weird, what can I say? They said it was just a lunch. I was working on this little program I was trying to sell Voltex. Right, this little program that just happened to win the Bacchus, right? Oh, is that a big deal? No, 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 no. I, uh, anyways, my wife was pregnant, right? And uh, job didn't sound like that bad of an idea at the time, so eight years later... You ever wish you toughed it out and run with it yourself? All the time. Get out of here. You make a percentage. I didn't say I made a bad deal. I just said I think about it. Hey, believe me, there's a lot to be said about security. Oh, well, I don't know about you guys, but I got some work to do. Would you like to see the program? Sure. Is it supposed to do that? Excuse me. What is this, C? Well, C++, actually. Your program? It's like cars. Some people, they can get in and... Turn the ignition, me, I gotta check out underneath the hood. Honey? Honey? 
Peki? Elizabeth? Nick? That was you. <sighs> I must support half the vendors in this place with all the junk I buy. Well, junk, it's hardly junk. Sure it is. Well, not when you get through with it. Listen, I'm glad I bumped into you. Um, do, do you do commissions? Because I was going, I was going over Voltex's art budget, and we're looking to acquire a few new pieces. I don't know if you're interested. Really? Well. Hey, let, let me let me give you a hand with that. Thanks. Yes, we did it. As a child, I used to walk through the city and look into all these windows, try to figure out what the people were like who lived there. I used to do that, too. I'd always look at the artwork, if there was any. Sang like an angel, sings for the angels. That's beautiful. You could have six months to live an entirely different life. And when you try it? Well, I couldn't do that to my family. Well, you stepped into a time machine, and when you returned, everybody was just as you left them. Well, that's what a good book is for. Does Ben have any idea how much you love him? Hey, Tiger. Yeah. How you doing? Good. I got a pitch today. Struck out three batters. No. Give me a hug. Good boy. I love you. I love you, too. Yeah. Hey, you're not going to believe this. I did some checking, and I... Hey. Hey. What? Your wife took pity on a lonely stranger. Hi, honey. Would you mind opening a bottle of wine for our guest? 
Sure. Australian cab, okay? Sure. I was at Santa Cruz, and my friend said, come over and meet this genius. I was just fooling around with graphics. Not that big a deal. I thought you went to Stanford. He transferred junior year. How'd you know about that? Hey, the first thing they told me when I got hired, watch out for the Stanford Mafia. I just assumed you were one of them. Who's going to put me to bed? Dad's turn. Here, go wash up. I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. I love you, Mom. I love you too, kid. Love you too, Dad. I'll be right there, kid. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There was four in the bed and the little one said, roll over. Is this the usual house, Red? Yeah, Ben has a thing for Cabernets. Let's see what else you've got. There's an ashtray in the lower left hand drawer. Oh, I've quit smoking. You've inspired me. Okay. So this garage skylight idea of yours, uh, what kind of weight does it have to bear? You're asking an architect a practical question? It's just a matter of working out the formula. Area to elevation. I'd be happy to work something out for you if you'd like. Oh, we couldn't do that, could we? No, it'd be good for me. I haven't designed anything for months. What happened? Every architect in North America got hit with a recession. I managed to get a divorce along with it. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, just, just like that, end of marriage, end of career? End of story. Was that easy? No. No, it wasn't easy at all. Now, don't be getting any ideas, darling. Every man has ideas like that. It's just whether or not you act upon them. Well, it's getting late. I'd really like to thank you. Oh, anytime. Thank you. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. And the man just happened to bump into you. Yeah, and I happened to show him a little kindness. Oh, that guy looks like me. He talks like me. He even takes your hand the way I did. Oh, he takes my hand the way you did a long time ago. But if you don't want to see him, it makes no difference to me. Did I tell you I checked his personnel file? You're getting a little paranoid. The guy leaves his own firm to take a position as facilities planner. I mean, doesn't that strike you a bit odd? In a major recession, no. The guy's in town for two days. He's playing squash at my club. He finds my wallet. He's at my house. He's in my office. I'm seeing more of Alex than I am my own kid. I'm not even going to touch that one. Elizabeth. Would you come downstairs with me? Okay, now take a look. Just take off the beard. Now let's give him some curly hair, huh? He still doesn't have your eyes. Let's give him some glasses. What do you think, Torsha?
You got duplicate keys in the office. You look good without the beard. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. For two weeks, you wouldn't even come up for a cup of coffee. You missed your chance. I'm sorry, sir. I have no record of any Benjamin Braden born in this clinic. My mother's name is Claudia. Claudia Braden? Here it is, Claudia Braden. Stillbirth delivered at 9.15 a.m. That can't be right. I'm sorry, sir, that's what we have. Sir? Thank you. Hey, Mom. Oh, ben, you startled me. Sorry. How you doing? I had a little, <laughs> little extra time. I wanted to come and say hello. I know Elizabeth doesn't like to bake. Mom, Elizabeth doesn't have time to bake any more than I do, okay? Well, you certainly didn't marry your mother, did you? No, and I didn't become my father either. Are you, um, seeing a therapist? Someone who's asking all sorts of nasty questions and blaming everything on Mother? I'm asking you if I was adopted. I'll take that as a yes. I, uh... I made a promise to, uh, Dr. Reynolds at the Wallace Clinic. It was my only chance at having a child. You made a promise to a doctor that was more important than me? I had five miscarriages, Ben. Five. When the last baby was born dead, Dr. Reynolds came in to me and he told me about a special private adoption agency. They were doing a study. Oh, that's ridiculous. Is it? He gave me a birth certificate. A piece of paper, Mom? Dr. Reynolds gave me the baby. He gave me you, Benjamin. That couldn't be legal now, could it? I wish you told me. I wish I had. Were there others? Mom said there was this woman at the clinic the same time she was there. She had seven miscarriages to mom's five. Do you think that was Alex's mother? I don't know. I mean, he wouldn't know if he was adopted any more than I would. Mom's gonna try to track down a number or something for me. A name, anything, someplace to start.
The coroner said she hit her head on the side of the pool and lost consciousness. She swam in that pool every day. Dad. Yes, son. Is somebody else going to be in Grandma's house? Eventually, yes. Did she have to die? Oh, honey. <laughs> Nick. Honey, Hey, hey, partner. How come you're crying when you got money coming out of your ear? Nikki, your mother really needs you now. Could you go help her, please? It's harder for us only children. I'm really sorry about your mother. Can we go? Hey, look at this stuff. She didn't throw anything away. Hit home run off Jim Wexler, Camp to Connick, July 24th, 1973. Told father he was too old to kiss him goodnight. Who is she sending this to? I don't know. Dr. Reynolds? The adoption agency? I was an experiment. These are her reports. Dr. Reynolds, what can I do for you, Mr. Braden? <clears throat> uh, I was born here. Yeah, I guess I'm that old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I wasn't Ben Braden at birth. You lied about that. I'm afraid I don't follow you. You filed a false birth certificate, doctor. See, my mother's dead. You seem a little confused, Mr. Braden. Did your mother die recently? I'm one of your experiments. One of the secret adoptions. What was your mother's name? Claudia Braden. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Braden C. Hmm? I'm sorry, did you say Cynthia or Claudia? <clears throat> Claudia. She, she, she had a stillbirth. No, she didn't. Look. The clerk must have made a mistake. The guy was amazing. He fixes the records and then shows them to me and expects me to go, oh, gee, I guess I guess I wasn't adopted after all. Half the world believes anything a doctor tells him. He had a 50% chance of success. You're cold, brother. No. This is cold. Instant deep freeze. Now, the question is, I mean, what difference does it really make whether you were adopted or not? This is my life, Henry. Your life is great. I, on the other hand, haven't had a date in eight weeks. You know, to tell you the truth, I'd really like to know the results of that test myself. Yeah, well, I don't believe Dr. Reynolds will be releasing that information anytime soon. Pity. Mm. Ice cream? Does, does any of this make sense to you? Mm. Nothing. Nothing much. Here's something. What? Guy co-authored with Eli Salazar. It's pretty impressive. How's that? Well, Salazar's a legend in molecular biology. Did some of the first significant cloning research. Well, what's the guy doing writing articles for my mother's obstetrician? 
Salazar needed someone familiar with fertilization technique. For what? Hmm? We can start a baby in a test tube. Only a woman can bring it to term. Salazar needed a fertility specialist to implant it in a womb. Reynolds must have fit the bill. Mm, oh, really good. You sure you don't want some? I don't think I like where this is headed. Ben. Well, look, why not? Because as of today, today, Ben, no one has ever cloned a human being. Back then, we didn't even have the microsurgery techniques. I gotta talk to this guy, Salazar. You know, let me make a few calls. Come on in. Hey. Just got back from Cafe Roma. You ever been there? No, I haven't. It's a wonderful place. I'd like to take you sometime. You didn't just come here for a job, did you? You came here looking for me. That's right. I did. You knew, didn't you? That were clones? Oh, yes. And the first thing I did was to grow a beard and hunt up my fellow cloney. Only I decided not to tell him anything. I decided to drive him crazy. Why? Figure it out yourself. I can't. You can't because it's absurd. Talk to Elizabeth. She told me you got a hold of this loony notion. What, that we're exactly alike? If only we were. You got a wife who loves you. A child that worships you. A great job. Need I go on? Look at me. I live in corporate apartment hell. I got no prospects, no family. You call us exactly alike. Chromosome for chromosome. So we look alike, so what? Hey, maybe we're, we're long lost twins separated at birth. I mean, that I can believe. So what do we do now? A Thanksgiving dinner? Indulge in sibling rivalry? We're already doing that. No. You're doing that. I really make you uncomfortable, don't I? I'm sorry. It's the last thing I wanted. Your mother just died. You just found out you were adopted. I mean, you're upset. I'm very upset. I tell you what. Why don't I call my mother and ask her if I was adopted? At least we'll find out if that much isn't right. Twins. It's a simpler explanation. You don't mind, do you? I mean, I'm sure you're right. I just want Henry to compare this with mine. If it'll make you feel better, go right ahead. So, did you get the samples? I'm checking the hairs now. Oh, I found your guy. He's somewhere near Tucson. Oh, great. 
to warn you about something here, Ben. My friend doesn't think Salazar is all that interested in company. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, I owe you one, okay? Anytime. Gotta go out of town tomorrow in a business meeting. I have a meeting tomorrow. I told you that. Look, this is important. To pick up and... This is important to me, too. Can't you just put it off for a day? No. This is about Alex, isn't it? Go on, go on your business trip. Salazar? He's not here. Do you know where I can find him? You can't. Listen, this is very important. I just flew all the way. I don't grant way. interviews, and I'm not interested in any job opportunities. You're Eli Salazar. My name's Ben Braden, sir. I... I think you may be my father. My son, Simon, is dead. I look just like him, don't I? I don't know. It's a long time ago. I'm one of the others. Others? There are no others. Please. I know all about Dr. Reynolds and the experiment. I mean, the adoptions? Would you tell me about the cloning? I'm sorry, there's nothing to discuss. Now, will you just please leave? You know everything about my childhood. I mean, aren't you, aren't you curious? Don't you want to know what I'm like? My curiosity and people ended a long time ago. Just go. You son of a bitch. Please, leave me alone. There were five in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were four in the bed and the little one said, It's really upsetting me. Mm -hmm. I have to go. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. You've been a real pal. Thanks. Bye. Who's that? I have to report my calls now. Is that it? Is Nick asleep? I should hope so. You want to call the babysitter and have her come by? I want you to come and talk to Henry with me. You know, you are too much. You go gallivanting around the country. You make me miss my appointment. Elizabeth. And then you come back Elizabeth. and you expect me come to just Elizabeth. drop everything. Please, just indulge me this one time. You'll understand. I 
I ran the hairs, the DNA matches. There's no question. You and Alex are identical twins. Are you sure? Absolutely positive, look. Twins are the only people on Earth whose DNA makes a perfect match. Not anymore. Look, guys, I don't know how to tell you this without just saying it. You're looking at a human clone. You actually saw Salazar? The guy looks just like me. We even have the same birthmark. Maybe he's your father. Did you ever think of that? No, no, wait, wait, wait. Birthmarks aren't hereditary. Salazar must have mastered the blastosis transfer years before Beatrice Mintz. All by himself? Uh, no, 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 not quite. He had Reynolds. So you're saying that if you can do this thing, then you can just go ahead and clone yourself? Essentially, yeah. Th Come here, take, take a look. This is Chester. To reproduce him, we need to reproduce his DNA. We take a normal egg from another rat and neutralize the egg's own chromosomes. We then inject Chet's DNA into the zapped egg and presto, we've got a fertile egg. That's all Chester. Once we've done that, it comes to term and is born like any other rat. Only it's an exact cell-for-cell -cell replica of Chester. You know, if I weren't bound by certain ethical and legal constraints, I could create a dozen little Henrys or Elizabeths or... Only they wouldn't be little Henrys because human beings are not raised in cages. They've got parents and friends and schools and experiences honey, honey, which honey, form that's, that's their... That's the whole point of the experiment. I mean, nature versus nurture. You take two duplicates, put them in separate environments, and you see what happens. It's really an astonishing way to go about it. Ben. Come on, come to bed, won't you? There are two things you can do. You can go back to the way things were. An only child, no brother. Fine. Pretend. No, it's a kind of a truth. It's the way you were raised. It's truth. And if you don't like that truth, then you go to Alex and you talk to him. You tell him that you're brothers and, and, and you make a peace with him. He's not my brother, he's my clone. Fine, he's your clone. Go make peace with your clone. I just don't trust him. Well, you've got to come to terms with it somehow. Because... Maybe you should see someone. What, a shrink? You're crowding us out, me and Nick. Is that what you want? No. Connolly. Yes. My name is uh, is Perry Breslow. I got a card. Yeah. Oh. I'm with the Continental Life Insurance Agency. Thank you. I'm not interested. Uh, I'm not selling insurance, Mr. Connolly. Uh, I'm investigating the death of a friend of yours, Dale Westman. Dead? Yeah, uh, shot himself. You know, pe people think that um, life insurance doesn't cover suicide. Well, that's only true if uh, the death occurs within two years of uh, initiating the policy. You know, in intent to defraud, that kind of thing. 
What's this got to do with myself? Well, it, it's a funny thing how Mr. Westman uh, came into your life only to die six months later. <clears throat> Mr. Westman was a very disturbed man. Well, actually, his friends tell me he was quite content. Until one day, he made a new friend. And even funnier, you know, if you see the humor here. That friend of his, David Vilecki, also killed himself. Would you care for some wine? It's a rather large Australian cat. I know. You're not Alex Connolly. Which one are you? <laughs> Alarm off, please. I've been sitting in my car for half an hour. Come in. No, no. There was another suicide after Simon. A man in Texas. I, I couldn't bear the thought of another death. How many of us were there? Six embryos achieved full term. Damn you to hell. I've been living in hell for the past 12 years. Ben? Are you all right? Everything's fine. Reynolds was my best student. He was the key. Once we'd successfully cloned a mammal, it really was rather simple. All you had to do was become God. No, no, no. There's a long history of scientists experimenting on themselves from Pasteur on down. But you didn't experiment on yourself. You experimented on me. The only one I experimented on was Simon. I had no children. I kept him for myself. He was very facile. Reading at three, picked up languages, mathematics, first class musician. I read at three. Simon was also the most destructive human being I've ever known. Not at all like the others. When he found the files, he set fire to my lab, then he went back to college and hanged himself. But we never published. After Simon's death, I stopped reading the reports. I kept the rest of us in the dark. Well, after what happened, it seemed the only thing to do. There's another. You've met him? I think he knows. I think he may be like Simon. But that's not possible. None of you were. And even if that were the case, please just... just leave it alone. Would you like to come in and meet your grandson? Perhaps another time.
Excuse me. Hi, uh, I'm sorry, but I seem to have misplaced my key. Something about being away from home, people do it all the time. <clears throat> Something different, Mr. Connolly. Uh, I shaved. Not crazy. Sure, you're not. Uh, how about in 30 minutes? Okay, I'll meet you there. Don't say that. It's true. It's true. He doesn't even look at me. He'll come through. I know he will. Well, I hope you're right. I really do. I really do. Ben used to do that. Used to do a lot of things. 
used to send me flowers. He used to call me in the middle of the day just so he could hear my voice. You should have seen him when Nick was born. I feel like I'm the cause of this. No, you're not. There was something wrong before all this happened. This just brought it to the surface. So unfair. It's just so unfair that I finally meet a woman that makes me feel happy and whole and utterly at ease. And she's married. I, I, I know this is a strange question, Mrs. Connolly, but did, did your husband happen to make any new friends any time before he disappeared? Uh-huh. So, uh, someone who looked like him? And, and then the friend died? After, after that, was Dale suddenly rejuvenated? And then he got born. Mm -hmm. And he left town. <sighs> you, you say David Vilecki began to miss rehearsals? Uh -huh. Was that after his friend James Herman died? I'm sorry to open old wounds, Mr. Herman, but did your son ever mention an old college friend, uh, Simon Salazar? Henry! Ben, ben, what's up? Henry, I figured it out. What? Alex Conley's not here by accident. James Herman was a student at Haverford in 81. Smart boy. Yeah, well, not smart enough. He met a kid up at Swarthmore named Simon Salazar. Two of them started hanging out together. Colleges were pretty close together. And one day after one of James' visits, Simon was found swinging from a railway trestle. Only it wasn't Simon. It was James, the first clone. And then he takes his ID, goes back to Haverford, and graduates as James. He goes to New York and takes a low-level publishing job as James Herman. Two years goes by, James quits his job and moves to Chicago, where David Vilecki is working as a violinist in the symphony. Three months goes by, James is found dead of an overdose on the near north side. James being Vilecki, is that right? Exactly. That's right. Simon takes David's job, only he's not quite good enough. So he misses a few rehearsals and he gets himself fired. Next stop, Dallas. Dale Weston's working as an engineer. Dale's mother, by the way, was at the Wallace Clinic with my mom. Are you with me? Right. Much easier to fake being an engineer. Exactly. And that's exactly what Simon did when David drove his car off the bridge. He's now living as Dale Westman. Three years as Dale Westman and Simon gets bored and moves to Toronto. Alex Conley. Oh, my God. Engineer to architects, not that big a deal. And all the wives tell the same story. Their husbands meet a new friend, their marriages start going downhill, the friend dies, and the husband suddenly seems a lot more interested. Because their husband is really Simon. One and the same. You do realize you're the last one on the list. Simon can't run anymore. Simon's not getting any chance, pal. Ben, you gotta go to the police. No, no, no way. Not without the files. I mean, I couldn't get Liz to believe me. I doubt it would be much easier for the cops.
Alex. Oh, man, I'm glad I caught you. It's Ben. No, no, I, I was just trying to at work. Listen, could, could you meet me in about an hour over at the office? No, it's, it's, it's good news. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid I owe you an apology. What are you doing home? I just wanted to come see you. I can't lie to you. I didn't pick them myself. Wildflowers. You remember that old house on the lake that used to leak every time it rained?
Dickler, uh, your son's a good athlete. He should show up more often. I plan to. Only seven bucks. Nick, Alex. Go pack some clothes. Where are your car keys? Under the mat. I gotta get Nikki. Don't let Alex back into the house. Ben, I tell my kid, you leave it, you lose it. Where's my son? Last day, sorry, he's with you. Honey, come on, we're going out. What? We're going out to dinner. It's Nikki's pick. Yeah. What do you want, Chinese, huh? Yuck. Yuck? How about if we go to the bistro and have steak frites? You don't even know what your own kid likes. Oh, sure I do. Shark skin sushi with gummy bear sauce. Yuck. Mock turtle soup with aspirin ravioli. <laughs> Some slimy, wormy burritos. Would you like that, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? We can just have pizza like we always do. Elizabeth! He picked you up from the ball field and pretended he was me, didn't he? Get out of my house, Alex. Elizabeth, I told you about Alex. You told me not to let him in the house. That's right, I did. He left the field before I got there. Me and my little league coach. Paul Dickler. How did you know you hardly ever go to my games? I was just there. Get Nick out of here. Go, go! <laughs> Call the police. They'll take care of Alex. You looking for something? I'm not entirely like you, Ben. I go to the range quite a bit. When's the last time you went to the dentist, Alex? Yeah. Well, I think of everything. You wear a hat when it rains instead of an umbrella. You cross your left leg over your right, so you always take the left eye on the movies. 
I know the sound this makes. That little moan. Right after you bite her on the neck. Why me? I've lived four very interesting lives. It's time I settle down. I saved the best for last, and you're the best of us, Ben. I like your job and your friends, your child, and your wife. I'm very attentive to Liz. I'll play ball with your son. I'm going to be a much better Ben than you. I'm not the only one who knows. Henry? He actually recognized me. But I'm afraid cryogenics hasn't unfrozen anybody yet. It's too bad you didn't stay in the car, man. This is going to be much less humane. But it actually works even better. I mean, crazy Alex Conley breaks into my house and threatens my family. Henry's not the only one. Oh, I'll convince the family. I'm talking about Salazar, Alex. He came to visit me. You kill me, you're going to have to deal with your father. He's not my father. I took your suggestion. He's coming for Thanksgiving dinner. Salazar's a part of this family again. coach's name. Working? Hey guys, or, hey guys, can I have a quiet for a minute? Please, thank you. <clears throat> this is my one chance to show I have a little authority around here. <laughs> okay, I'm proud to present Boltec Systems' first art commission. Yeah, pretty cool. Huh? Now you can all be jealous, the company's actually releasing this one without beta testing. <laughs> And the artist herself is no stranger to us. She's the wife of a two-time Bacchus winner, the creator of Vortec. Um, what else? Well, they're both good friends of mine, and I'm going to stop talking. Elizabeth and Ben Braden. Um. 